Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for some Dread Horde control to start off our donation deck day to day. That's right. Yesterday I played just lots of ranked and kind of did that the whole day. Um, but we've been piling up some donation decks that people want to see with a brand new format. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm spending all day with donation decks. You can see it over here on the screen with the uh, letters DD in front of all, all of these decks. Uh, we're definitely going to do four decks today. We'll see if we get to the fifth deck of Selesnya tokens or not. You know, kind of see how fast the, the leagues go and everything. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's that's our plan. All right, so what we got to start with is a Dreadhorde control deck where we are a just a blue-black control based around Dreadhorde invasion being our win con. We are going to try to amass an army, a very large army, and attack with it and have it gain lifelink wins power six or greater. Dreadhorde invasion is a very slow win con by on its own, but we can speed it up a little bit. When we have cards like Enter the God Eternals that can amass four, make that thing a lot bigger, and help us gain life to survive aggressive decks. And we also have Commence the end game that uh, we get to um, also amass a lot bigger. This is not just a mass two. Like whenever, whenever some people were reading this card at first, they were seeing, okay, six mana can't be countered, draw two, amass two. That's just not that great. But it, it's not just that. It's a mass however many cards you have in your hand. So if we have five, six cards in hand, we can make a, a five, five, a six, six. You know, it can harken back to. Uh, Torrential Gear Hulk plus Glimmer Genius for those of y'all that played it back in those days uh, in Kaladesh Standard. But this one also cannot be countered as well. So we have our normal control elements. We got some sweepers with Ritual of Soot, uh, card draw with Chemistry's Insight, a uh, bunch of little, uh, and I guess not a bunch, but some spot removal with Contempt and Scorn, and then uh, some counter magic with Sabotage. Also some Nard sets to help us find anything in our deck, because everything in our deck is a spell. We don't have any creatures in our deck. Hopefully we don't have any creatures in the sideboard after I said that. No, we got one creature. All right, we got one creature. We've got to have the God Eternal over here. Um, but yeah, that's what we got. Uh, this one looks pretty sweet. Let's give it a try and see how it goes here. So Dread Horde Control. Yeah, that Dread Horde can give us lifelink whenever we, got to the, whenever we get to the six power. And we can, like, surprise that on people because, you know, it can be, like, a 3-3 a three, three, and they're like, okay, you're not going to have lifelink. That's a 3-3. Three, three. But then we play Enter the God Eternals and suddenly give it plus 4, plus 4. Now it's only a 7-7 seven, seven attacking in. Oh, I have Domri. I should probably replace Domri here. Ugh. Help us out here, Arena. I'll call it Army Soot. <laughs> All the lists except for the Selesnya tokens are uploaded. Um, if we get to the Selesnya tokens, we'll be making that together on stream. But all the other lists are available. It does trigger when it attacks, so you wouldn't, like, Enter the God Eternals is a is a sorcery. You would cast that during your first main phase, pump up the army, and then attack after that. We already got a Narset, okay. We did not have uh, another blue source, though, so now we got that. All right, time to let the army amass. Is, it, is Widespread Brutality the, the red-black one? Yeah, that's the one with double red. So, so I guess this is Jeskai Control. Do we risk? I don't think so. Yeah, let's let's just let's just hold this up past the turn. I don't I don't think we just slam down a Narset here and risk Narset getting countered. We're already ahead on the battlefield with this Dreadhorde invasion. Let's just get our counter magic up. Thanks, James. Don't 
Double red is so much red. Our creature was summoning sick last turn. It, it enters during our upkeep. We were not able to attack with it last turn. Hey, Valoraxial, good afternoon. I got the Grixis Davriel deck on the menu for today. I, I played a little bit with it earlier today, changed some stuff. And hopefully improved it. I made it a little less control. You know, I, I didn't think you really wanted a control deck. And so kind of took out, like, Search for Escanta for Dreadhorde Invasion and, and stuff like that. Yeah, all donation decks today. All right, you got me. We can rebuild. Open mind. I'm glad we found that contempt because in case that's Teferi, Tuck, Narset, we have a contempt now. And I'm not sure I actually activate Narset and like have Narset at only one loyalty where like a shock kills her. So let's see, that'll be my sixth card. We go down to five, up to seven. Yeah, we'll do it. I have just the trick for this. These cards are pretty good. So far, you have a, played a Soren versus Grixis. You brought back a Seraph, two Resplendent Angels, a Midnight Reaper. That is awesome. Okay, we will commence the end game. Ooh. That thing's big. That thing's real big. Just the old give give your creature plus seven plus seven at end step. Hmm. I don't know if I really want to play as Kanta. Yeah, that was a six mana instant speed, seven, seven, draw two cards. It's not bad. You know, playing this means I don't get any other commence the end game available this turn, but it's okay. Yeah, there's Flame and Chicken. There's about four or five other people. I can basically I can play yours uh, later on in the week, uh, Wednesday. You know, basically Wednesday on. Uh, you just tell me tell me what day that you want it played, Wednesday or after, and if you want it played early on in the stream or later, and I will do that. I do not have Stream Decker up. Sorry, or Deckmaster. That's what you're asking about, Deckmaster. Well, commence the endgame was sweet. So it was Dreadhorde Invasion. Those are awesome. Let's get some Nagates, some Duresses. Could certainly see my opponent playing something like Legion Warboss here.
This would be taking out all of our removal. Well, I mean, not all of our removal. We'd keep in the contempts. Uh, you can just, uh, when you donate, just put the list in the, you know, whenever you donate, like, you know, it says for, like, asset description, you can just put the list in there. Um, if you're talking about, like, just how do you get it from Arena to something, you can go to mtggoldfish.com and paste it up on there. You can also just send it to me in a whisper here, if you want, or anything like that. Uh, here's the link to submit a new deck. It's really possible that we just have too many duresses, thought erasures, and gates. I got my three contempt still for kind of some removal, and obviously we have the counter magic with like sinister sabotage for creatures also. I like our hand. Definitely good how we get the duress on turn two to snag a search for his Kanta. Or, I'm sorry, on turn one. We can snag their search for his Kanta on turn two. Wow. All counter magic. We'll take the syncopate. That's the only one that, that counters the Ascanta. That's the kind of hand we want to see, though. I don't I didn't want to see a handful of creatures. So like that that's the kind of hand that we can work around. All right, so my opponent's going to be inciting here. We'll be inciting on their turn. I think casting Chemist's Insight's a better use of our turn than casting Thought Erasure. They're just going to be able to counter every single thing that we try to play now. This is going to be tough. So we need to grab, there's a Contempt. We're going to need to work out where we can, I mean, I guess, I guess maybe I should just be powering up Blast Zone this next turn. We can put two counters on Blast Zone. One turn and then two counters on Blast Zone the next I turn. Have reached my limit. And then we kill Lyra. This 
Yeah, I guess that's the plan. There's a blast zone here. I think Ops better than a random card. I think we'll be able to spend the one mana to cast it, and it just gives us a little bit of our selection. If that card would have flipped ours, can't I would have done that? Blast Zone's looking pretty strong here. So we're going to be able to put an extra counter on Blast Zone and have Sinister Sabotage up. That was a bad auto tap. Oh no, no, we still have Sabotage. Okay, good. Never mind. Good auto tap. Hey, Rex, good afternoon. Now it's, it's just a counter war. They got a bunch, we have a bunch. There we go. And a card that's really good in a counter war. The creature will just die to the justice strike. But we'll still, you know, Draw multiple cards and take their Justice Strike out of their hand. Attack. Commence the end game's been pretty sweet. Hmm. So we counter, they counter back, we counter again. We'll just let that happen. Still doing good. We still have Ascanta. They do not. We have Chemistry's inside as well. So we got more card advantage here. <laughs> Tomri looks so out of place in like this blue black deck here. Hey, Crimson Rum. Oh no. All right, Blast Zone, do your thing. So do they just like tap this, like are they gonna use this blue mana or what? Yeah, thankfully, yeah, thank, thank, thankfully we have Blast Zone. We only really need we need two counters on it. I'm just kind of manually tapping here so that we don't so it doesn't just auto tap my Escanta. Blast zone.
<laughs> and there we go. Usually playing Niv with counter spell backup works, but not against Blast Zone. I was skeptical of the Blast Zone, but it was awesome. Commence the end game was pretty cool. Be careful what you say. We gotta get Lazav in here for House Demir. Thanks, Arthur. Yeah, this was uh, this is built by J. Jack Jr. The first four, or I guess I guess I built the Grixis, the Grixis Davriel, and then the Celestian tokens for later. I built those two, but the other ones were user submitted. Yeah, Blast Zone's a one of. We have one Blast Zone, one Field of Ruin. I really like Field of Ruin these days with how there's just Ascanta everywhere. Yeah, that would be cool if you could just assign avatars to decks also. Like how you assign your sleeves to the deck. You can just assign avatars to the deck. That'd be cool. Alright, Master Neo. Hmm. This looks like a Reclamation player. I want to ask Kanta in play before, you know, like, we could Thought Erasure there. Oh, no! I was thinking that they weren't going to have Reclamation here the next turn. And so I wanted this to, like, filter my draws to help me find counter magic and stuff. Okay, good. Circuitous route. That's... One, that's really bad for us, but two, it's not as bad as Wilderness Reclamation, so that's good. Alright, we need the second blue. We are going to need that for counter magic. But let's... There we go. Rewarded. I say, let's start filling the graveyard for the Escanta, though, also. Alright, two Nexus and a Krasis. Well, we'll just take the Krasis. Nexus... Doesn't do very much on its own, and they don't have the mana to cast it. Yeah, this is game one of the second match. Sorry, we are 1-0 now. I did not update our record. Hello. All right, so we can start taking some extra turns. So if I'm them right there, I, I'm casting that Nexus of Fate on upkeep. So that they have a chance to like drawing another one. Which I guess drawing one at this point doesn't really matter. It just does nothing. No, that's not the card we need to see. We need to find counter magic before that. We do have Field of Ruin, so looking for a Field of Ruin, that'd be nice. So let's turn our 1 1 into a 4 4, or into a 5 5. Wow, it turns it into a 5 5? That's tight. I thought it was going to like kill it and then make it a 4 4. Narset would have been a good one, but all the rest of those, not so good. Hmm. How is that bad hitting my own creature for 4 damage? Why, why is that bad? I'm not... My opponent's not going to have any creatures for me to target. I did exactly what I wanted to do. You can't, you can't deal direct damage with Enter the God Eternals. It deals damage to a creature. You can't do players. That card would be busted if you could do 4 damage upstairs. Plus, why would a blue-black card be able to deal damage upstairs? That doesn't make sense. Uh, Drizzitz with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel.
So yeah, that even with our opponent not having any creatures, that enter the God Eternals was pretty nice there. Of um, just you know really supersizing our creature here. I was, you know, still looking for Sinister Sabotage there. We didn't find it, so now we're basically just looking for Thought Erasure. Oh, I didn't find it still. <laughs> well, we've drawn all these bad cards in the matchup. But we're coming close. So they have 30 cards, and they have two Ascanta activations. And they have all those draw card effects. I don't even know if it is possible for them to whiff, but we'll see. I wish I was tapped out so I didn't have to hit OK all the time. But can I just do this? Will this just let me stop hitting OK all the time? It's so all four... Chemistry's insights. That's gotta be. There's gotta be no way that they can whiff anymore. We do have a whole lot of stuff. For this matchup, I think. Like, we got all these negates, all these duresses, and we got the Unmored Ego. That's a lot of stuff. We don't honestly have that much removal in our in our main deck. You know, we only have eight. We only have, like, eight bad cards there, and we just had four of the eight. Like, that's pretty, pretty unfortunate for us to have four of the eight like that. Um, I think Kefnet is actually probably pretty good here, too. I guess... We can play that over Enter the God Eternals. I'll still play one Enter the God Eternals. We saw how good that was of just growing our creature plus four, plus four. Nothing else there I really want. Hey, there's Sinister Sabotage. We couldn't find that card last game. There's our fielder rune we couldn't find either. Um. So next turn we'll play Invasion with Boneyard and then we'll be able to have Sinister Sabotages up after that. Welcome back, Hex Bomb. That sub for the second month now. You are the bomb. No, no I don't feel sick, Boo Man. I didn't get the most sleep last night. Uh, stayed up after after the stream and watched the episode of Game of Thrones, and so I got to bed. Like an hour later than normal. Hour and a half or so. But no, I feel fine. Attack. Blast zone kind of cool. Would I rather put a counter on Blast Zone or play as Kanta? I think I'd rather play as Kanta. That did resolve pretty quickly. Mm 
Mind and body rewarded with thoughtfulness before action. I wasn't planning on playing Nars out there. I was planning on having Sabotage up. I, yeah, I'm liking the deck. I am uh, real happy with the Blast Zone. I, I like how it's like two colors that we get to play Blast Zone and Field of Ruin. I think this is a pretty good anti-control control deck. I think this deck would probably struggle against aggro. But I, I like it as an anti-control control deck. And there are a lot of an anti-blue con control deck. There are just so many blue decks. Yeah, they cannot draw more than one card a turn. Thankfully. So, like, that opt didn't actually draw a card. Now we're definitely playing this Field of Ruin next turn. And getting rid of that thing. I feel like they have found an abnormally high amount of that card so far. They have really found a, a very abnormal amount to that card. That's usually $20 for a donation deck. Uh, there's a lot of information about it in the info panel down below. That's game. That gets to kill the Narset. Alright, so I guess I just should not have played as Kanta and Narset. I guess I need to hold up Counterspell and Field of Ruin. Wow. I was not expecting that at all with them having nothing but the Escanta, you know, with us playing that Narset. I was really not expecting that. But they just ended up having, you know, like three Nexuses that they just had in hand and or drew. Hey, Goblin Guy. Unfortunately, that Nexus deck just got a lot better with the Tamiyo printing. It's pretty frustrating. <laughs> oh, hey, Goblin Guy. Yeah, we we had, like, Field of Ruin in hand that, you know, we had Field of Ruin and three counter spells in hand that, you know, I tapped out, played the Narset. Ugh. I was not expecting you to be able to win there. That was rough. Yeah, Blast Zone is really good in Nexus, too. Absolutely. I think I have to mulligan this. I mean, we're on the draw. We just need to draw a Black Source. And, like, our hand is actually really good. If we draw the Black Source. But it, there is a... Well, I guess, like, so we would have just been able to... We could have held up one Counterspell a turn there. I, I played the Narset instead of holding a Counterspell up. I, I just didn't think you could... I You know, I didn't think you would be able to win from there. But yeah, I could have, could have held up Counterspell instead of Narset. You know, Narset found the other... The Negate. I had Sabotage. So it was like I could have held... I could have done one of those two. Gosh.
I mean, obviously, hindsight, I should have held up Sabotage, but I, I just didn't think that could win through Narset from that position. be tough for us here. Do you want to see London Mulligan in Arena? I think that... I think that the best thing that I've heard is a kind of mix between the London Mulligan rule and what the Mulligan rule is now. And uh, that is... I know 88 ways to defeat you. Pick one. So if I minus if I might if I minus Narset here, then just one shock will kill Narset. Like you know, they attack and have a shock. I don't want one shock to kill Narset, so I'm going to keep it at five loyalty. So the London Mulligan rule is, you know, you look at seven. If you don't like it, then you look at seven. You put one back. If you don't like it, then you look at seven. Put two back. Right now, it's if you you know you look at seven, you don't like it. You look at six, then scry one. If you don't like it, you look at five, then scry one. I think just mixing those two and because I basically uh, interesting. I don't like the looking at seven when you're taking five and putting two back. I think it could uh, graveyard man. That would be kind of nice to have. I need a removal spell for this thing. Ugh. Now I need that ritual set back. So basically going to, you look at 7, if you don't like it, you look at 7, you put 1 down. If you don't like that, when you mold a 5, you look at 6 and you put 1 down. You know, keep it like the scry 1, but you look at all of them at the same time. I think that's the, the best option. It's just kind of a mixture between the two. I mean, ugh. Let's see if we find a removal soul for this thing. Meditate and prepare. All right, rewarded. Narset was going to be taking the two that turn anyway. Oh, wow. Never mind. Main deck negate. In an Electromancer deck. Usually Electromancer decks are with Arclight Phoenix have all proactive spells they can play proactively to grab a I Phoenix out. You don't usually see negate. Yeah, I, I agree, Jerbin, that you want to draw seven new cards once your first hand is bad. Yeah, and so that's that's what that's what I'm saying. Like you, if you don't like your first seven, you look at seven again, and bas basically instead of having the scry one, you get to look at that one card also and put one you know put one card on the bottom of the library. But not when you when you mulligan to five, you don't look at seven again and then put two cards back. Which basically the reason why is it just kind of makes so many games the same whenever you are doing that you're just gonna you know like we're not gonna be, you're just not gonna play too many different games of magic all the games will, will be kind of homogenized whenever you just kind of like all right where's where's my good opener i want to look for it even if we go to five cards i need like i really want like this 
you know, first couple of plays. I want my one drop creature, my two drop creature, my removal spell, and like two lands. So I like the variance that this mulligan rule sets in, but I think it could be just a little bit more consistent. But I don't want to go full on mul London mulligan. Do they have more main deck negates? No. So many things to do. So I, I want to save until the God Eternals for a Crackling Drake. That's what I'm thinking there. I should this should definitely be uh, tapping the Blast Zone. The That's my bad. I should have should have tapped Blast Zone there. No obstacles. Keep an open mind. Should have tapped Blast Zone. Could have had the Thought Razor. will only lead you astray. <laughs> so wait, it's been it's like been like four days, maybe five days. <laughs> it's okay to not have a deck settled in yet. It's all good. I I wouldn't expect to have a a deck settled in yet. Or at least they don't get to draw the card because they didn't attack Nars at first, so that's good. That's good. Narset's been not okay. For this. I thought Narset was going to be a lot better whenever I just first started, like whenever I was reviewing the set than what it has been. I hope they don't have dive down. We've had a Commence and a Dread Horde. Oh, yeah. I guess that makes sense, trying to grab that top thousand. And then there's just a bunch of new cards. Every problem has a solution. Yeah, they do not have the this seasons lined up hurt. with the release, which which that would make sense. All right, I don't mind that. We got Ascanta going. I I don't feel so bad that you know they only have a couple of cards. I I like our chances. They suddenly have negate. So they they've been doing a really good job of holding that negate if they suddenly had negate. I need to make sure this doesn't happen again. I'm gonna start manually tapping this blast zone because we have to like click OK to everything and 
just slows the game down. Because otherwise it's just going to keep on holding this blast zone up and then I'm going to have to click OK to everything. And that's much more annoying than manually tapping the blast zone. Yeah, you're probably right. We probably didn't need to um, flip the Escanta a couple turns ago. Probably don't need to worry about them having a way to remove that thing. That's the best possible draw step. There's a swamp, so we get to Thought Erasure plus Contempt. Best possible draw step there. I don't know, do I just want the land so I get to Chemister's Insight and have more mana? Nah. Gruel deck was okay. Um, we, we went 5-4 uh, with it. Um, one of... We went 0 through against 0 3 against other Gruel decks. One of the losses was was my fault. I just didn't play well. Uh, I definitely could have won one of the, one of our two games we lost, and probably the other one also in a three game set. So that it was so it was pretty close to a 6 3. We had one one match where we just mulligan to oblivion and and uh, one game, and then didn't draw any lands the other game. So like we had one one of those matches where we didn't really play Magic. <clears throat> so it went pretty well overall. Hmm. I, I like Gruel in best of three. I'm not I'm not exactly sure about it in best of one. So now I'm putting a counter on the blast zone here so we can blow up these electromancers. I was seeing if we could hit a land drop also, so that we could hold that we could potentially hold up contempt or Ascant activation also. I should have kept that drown catacomb. I wanna save this contempt for like the Phoenix in their graveyard or something else. They have one Phoenix in the graveyard, right? Yeah, just the one. I haven't felt like Ugin's really been a need to deal with enchantments. I mean, we have the Blast Zone. Gets rid of him. Blast Zone's kind of cool. Ugh. Haven't felt a need for that yet. That's an annoying card to counter. Can we draw a land, please? Ugh, should not have got rid of that drowned catacomb. Just hit so many non lands in a row now. A little worried about playing the Dreadhorde Invasion and losing the life right now. Just a little worried. Yes, I would like more land drops, please. Guess I'm shocking in.
Thanks, Cattywampus. All right, do, we got rid of one of our commence the dread hordes. Yes, we got rid of one of those. So we still have we still have one commence left and one e enter the god eternals left. Hey, situation chips. My prowess is unmatched by my peers. All right, like the Narset here, just to protect from them drawing a bunch of cards, because you know, like, if they get like the Phoenix back, it's going to be on cantrips, and I'm not minusing and make it difficult for them. Yeah, difficult for them to kill the Narset. Okay, we got there. Are we on a Mulligan to five that game? Maybe we were, maybe we weren't. I don't really remember. Uh, Cry of the Carnariums, yes, please. Get on in here. Contempt, get on in here. Ego, yes, please. Kefnet's cool. Dress Negate, cool. That's the Scatter's cool. Against Crackling Drake. We don't want Ritual of Soot. I don't really know what we don't... What else we don't want? I guess Tyrant Scorn... Only kills Electromancer. Hey, Aduriel. Yeah, that was a really good episode. I was really, I was really worried about it, but I liked it. I wonder if I can go down on some Dreadhorde invasions. Can I just take out Dreadhorde Invasion? That's that's all I was gonna say. Hopefully that didn't spoil anything. No, Cry is awesome against Arclight Phoenix. Invasion's been really good. Yeah, I've liked it, but um, don't think I need it here. Especially how we saw our opponent concede a little early there. They'll, they'll likely do that again if we get like full control going. Need to be worried about... I'll go and opt here, look for another land. Need to be worried about Niv-Mizzet. Yeah, we have ways to win. We got five creatures that can attack in our deck. That's one of them. I'm going to put that on the bottom, though, for now. Another one. Ugh. I don't want that card, but I kind of can't get rid of it. Eh, we still have other ways to win. We can get rid of it. Yeah, there's a couple of people that just that just came in here and just threw out spoilers last night, and that was really disappointing, obviously. Tried to get rid of those as soon as we could. I kind of feel like I should have just played as Kanta the last turn, or held up Negate for, like, whenever they were definitely going to, you know, chart a course or discovery. 
I don't want to see Crackling Drake. That's good. Alright, well, I guess I'm keeping it now. I don't think I can get rid of it. I'd run the risk of just not having win cons. Uh, thanks, Brio. Rather draw land and we get the Ascant activation also. Ugh, this card's good. Hmm. This card's just too good. There are so many mysteries. This card's just so good in this matchup. Transformational sideboard for the Ral combo deck into nor normal is it Drake's would be a good idea. I'm not sure. Is that beating like aggro? Like you're probably worried about aggro, right? Is just playing is just going into normal Drake's beating aggro? I could certainly see it not doing that. This is annoying. I need land, but I would prefer untapped land. I guess this is what I get, though. So we have, like, two cast downs in the deck. We gotta try to find a cast down. I have just the trick for this. that's gonna die. We'll see if they have something big to take. They did have something big to take. They did have something big to take. We have six right now. Narset will be the seventh. So we will be able to flip as Kanta. That'll be three, six. This could be a seventh mana. Guess we don't really need it. I mean, we're just gonna want mana. Yeah, we're just gonna want mana. Whenever we have as Kanta flipped. This was overwhelming. Oh, right. Um, I meant to put that up here. So tomorrow, I'm going to do an early stream tomorrow from noon to 7 instead of 3 to 10. Speaking of East... Uh, there we go. Oh, I didn't. Ugh. I didn't want to actually transform that yet. One of those other cards in the gate. I was thinking about waiting till upkeep. So doing that, so because I have uh, eight o'clock tickets to see Avengers Endgame. But one more mana, and we get to double spell with these. That's why I went with the Enter the God Eternals because we get to double spell with these. 
with one more mana. I think we lost this one. I mean, it just doesn't matter. If they have a counter spell, we're dead. And they kept a card on top of the opt, so I, I would be surprised they don't have a counter spell. Well, the season's not over yet, so you won't be getting any season rewards yet. Alright, they're gonna have a lot of counter spells. We should probably have just more duresses in here. Like I'd rather have duress than a gate, because like we're we're mostly gonna be duressing away counter magic. I didn't sequence that game the best, I don't think. I'm going to trim a couple of the ops for the other dresses. Play first. Let's get the Boneyard out of here. And... Basically let them draw this 8th card before we dress. Unless they have Spell Pierce to counter this, we should still be able to get everything. So we, we give them one extra card to take a look at. Fine as Kanta. I'll take the land. So I'm just playing this here so we can cast down here. Like they play Electromancer. I, like I'll feel bad if they do have Electromancer and I just didn't. Um. And, you know, I didn't keep up, like, that ability to kill it and then still have insight on turn four. Because, you know, I definitely want insight on turn four. Draw two cards. And we're going to do a better job of being patient than what I was the last game. I'm not going to just like slam Narset here, for example. We definitely like to find commence the end game. Um, 
Draw a counterspell? Not a counterspell. The past red hone your prowess. Not a counter spell either, but Thought Erasure is not bad. Perfect. Hmm. Oh, that's just a good card. We haven't really seen shock in the post board games. Action. So I think I'm willing to go down to one with the Narset. Why would they draw the card first? That doesn't make any sense. I hope they just drew a Niv-Mizzet for me to take. Discovery Dispersal. Is that better than these other cards? No, I'll take the Sample Stroke. Ooh, that's a good one. Basically need a creature out here so we can enter the God Eternals and then start going from there. Alright, let's curb let's curb the Game of Thrones talk for people that haven't seen it and everything. Let's let's get back to the game here. The Narset's not useless, it's keeping my opponent from drawing more than one card a turn. So it's keeping like a card like Discovery from really doing too much. So they can Radical Idea on my turn to draw an extra card. Ooh, getting rid of the Lava Coil. That's good news for us with our 4-4 four, four creature. <laughs> and he lands. Alright, good. Don't have to go to discard. It's not really in my opponent's best interest to play anything. <laughs> I hope they do. But it's not. They don't really need to, though. This Enter the God Eternals is the only card unit that they know by that little revealed eye there. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. <laughs> no, you don't let him win. No, no, sir. Don't let him win. No. So at least we don't have to go to discard now by countering that. Okay. Two and one. Let's dive right Looks like we didn't really battle. need win cons. Our opponent gave up. 
we're not chemistry's inciting. Well, one that was our turn, but then two like before while we weren't doing it is just we already we just had too many cards. We didn't really need to put more cards in our hands. That was not anything we really needed. Hey, Mad Mem Cardi. That was just not a resource that we were lacking. So we could be patient and wait on that Chemistry's Insight for whenever. It's not like it was going anywhere. We could just use that whenever resources, cards in our hand was a resource that we needed more. I already hear that, Sala. Hmm. Do I want to play Invasion or do I want to just activate Blast Zone? That's kind of. Blast Zone's kind of rough. I think this is going to be the kind of matchup that we're going to struggle with with how, how much like control effects we have. You know, I think we're good against control decks, but cards like Dreadhorde Invasion, Commence the Endgame, like these cards are just pretty bad here. I mean, we, we do need a second blue. So I'm just graveyarding though, because we need removal. Sinister Sabotage just doesn't do anything anyway with Domri saying the uh, the creature spells can't be countered. So it's not like keeping the blue to keep up Sinister Sabotage is going to do too much oh, for us. I wish you could see your face when I've beaten you. We're going to need to bring in a lot more removal. We're gonna need a lot more removal. Ilrog's gonna hurt. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Uh This is this is gonna be a really rough matchup for us. I really regret losing to the Nexus opponent because that's one that we can win. I don't. I don't think we can win this one. Hmm. Well, Narset's not going to really do very much. We can hopefully counter stuff. Before Adomri. We can we can, we can pull this off. We can do this. Yeah, we can do this. All right, we got a lot of removal here. I like it. We get this is the kind of hand that can win. So we get our our dreadhorde invasion down immediately. Let's get some lands. Hey, Elder Two. <laughs> <laughs> this 
Gotta find a. Gotta keep hitting land drops. There we go. That's a land. I'll take it. And tyrant scorn this thing. We're playing chain whirler. Jeez. Pretty mean. We need two more lands. We need to get to this Enter the God Eternals. More lands. Okay. That's getting us there. Ooh, right on my noggin. And I don't think that I can contempt the Domri. I think I need to save contempt for, you know, like Ilrog. If I, if I can tempt the Domri and, and Elrog would be a really bad thing for us to see. Orzhov mid-range deck from yesterday took you from plat 2 to diamond with a big win streak. Way to go, Maluko. Awesome. Yeah, all the opponents were just playing blue decks and you only lost once. Way to go. They can only punish you if they catch you. <laughs> That card's mean. So they have two cards left. So basically, do I... Do I actually contempt the Domri now? No, I don't think so. I would love to cast down the, the Spellbreaker, but obviously we can't do that. That's hexproof during their turn. Well, it's not a land, but... We're keeping it. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you doing something? Yeah, you're Ilrog. For now. Ah, uh -huh, right on my noggin. Thoughts on a mass so far? It's been, it's been better than I thought it would be, but it's still. It's not like, you know, like amazing, but it's been it's been pretty good. I've been happy with it. We're gonna have these two fight and kill the Domri. Wow. <laughs> That's the sound of a stampede coming straight at ya.
Contempt's been saving us. So they can activate Hellkite to kill the 2-2. But then they're not playing Ilharg if they do that. So I, I should have just entered the... Okay. Yeah, I missed that. That would have been a better play than what I did. Of, like, Thought Erasuring them and stuff. So last turn, if I just if I just hit the Skargon Hellkite pre-combat, pre turn our thing into a 6-6 six, six with Lifelink, and it mills their Raze Boar. Yeah, that would have been a better line. That would have been a better line. Yeah, that would have been better. <clears throat> so we need to find cast down. I think we only have two cast downs. Yeah, I should have entered the God Eternals just first. Ugh, that's yeah, that would have been a lot better. My bad. It's new, you know, new cards. Like, that's that's something that I'll now know to do, you know. I'm not going to forget that thing ever again, but just new cards. It's just easy to make mistakes for, like, the first time. I don't like Living Twister. I think the spot for Living Twister, it has like one spot. The spot for it is as a sideboard card in like green red matchups against other green red decks, like other green red aggro, but it, I don't think that's even worth it. I think there's better cards in 75 that you can play than, than that. All right, I could have probably won that game. Game three would have been really tough, but I, I think I could have won that game if I would have just entered the Eternals pre-combat there. Game three is going to be really tough. I think that's our worst matchup that we can have with this deck. I definitely feel bad, feel worse for losing to to the Nexus deck. I think I, I think we should have won that one with the Nexus against the Nexus deck. Um, the deck played pretty well, though. So the deck played pretty well. I you know, made a, a uh, kind of beginner mistake there with the Enter the e God Eternals. Um, against the Nexus opponent, I could have kept Counterspell up, but I played Narset. I, I really didn't think that they could win from that position of just having a Ascanta in play with me having Narset on the battlefield, but then they just turned out to... Um, have you know they hadn't played a reclamation 
previous turns. They just had a Reclamation plus, like, three Nexuses. They just kept on finding. And then and then Ascanta flipped after, like, the third one. And then they just kept finding more. That was a little unfortunate for us. The deck played pretty well, though. I think, sideboard-wise... Uh, I think that the Essence Scatter should go. I think that this should just be more removal uh, against, like, those creature decks. I think I think you need more hard removal. I think with how much there is of, like, can't be countered stuff between... Um, uh, Rhythm of the Wild and Domri, and the fact that on turn two we want to play things like as as Kanta and Dreadhorde Invasion. Like, we want to play these things early and then kill their stuff. That's that's just a better way to win a creature matchup is is to have like the removal. So I I think essence scatter essence scatter should should certainly be a removal spell. Um, I liked how we had all the Vras's contempts. I think that a card that we could have that could help. <clears throat> well, you know, even just like a, a fourth or sorry, a third enter the God Eternals there for that essence scatter, or maybe even just like one um, Eldest Reborn. Either of those. <clears throat> Narset did, it did really good against a uh, Phoenix deck that we played, and I thought it was going to shut down the Reclamation deck, but it didn't. They're able to even just, like, use Opt as a Scry one and not be able to draw, but find Nexuses with that. <clears throat> so, yeah, I actually, I actually liked how the deck played. The deck played pretty good. Um, it, it played better than, than I was expecting, but I think it, like, there's just so many blue decks in the metagame these days, and I think this one's pretty good against it. So, yeah, I think the Scatter being another hard removal spell is, like, the one change that I would really want to see. <clears throat> Whether it's another cast down, uh, and... And Eldest Reborn, another Enter the God Eternals. Something like that. Something that's not Scatter. <clears throat> so there we go. Okay, so that's Dreadhorde Control. So thanks, J. Jack Jr. Uh, pretty pretty interesting deck. And Dreadhorde Invasion was was really good. Uh, Commence the Endgame was awesome. Yeah, this, this card was incredible in our deck. Enter the God Eternals was just awesome, even with like with Dreadhorde Invasion. I loved this card too. Um, just even like against a, the creatureless control deck, or like even like the Nexus deck, you know, they had like no creatures. We just got to put put four counters on our Dreadhorde, like a one one Dreadhorde Invasion. We just turned it into a five five, and then with that, Enter the God Eternals, and then you know suddenly had a fast clock. So that like that was even good. So yeah, I liked those. I, I think that maybe opt isn't necessary. Maybe we could have like a little bit more removal and stuff instead of ops. I'm not sure. I think that's probably the card that I liked the least in the main deck was the ops. There's times you just need to hit a land and stuff like that. Loved having Blast Zone. Blast Zone was awesome. Field of Ruin is, is just awesome too. Love having these two colorless lands. Um, but... Yeah, the Submerged Boneyards are good to help us have the Colorless Lands. Like, those are good. Uh, you could play Demir Guildgate so you can keep on... So you can have more full arts. Same thing. But yeah, pretty impressive deck. I like it. I think that, you know, we went 2-2, but I think that definitely could have easily been a 3-1 if I played the, against the Nexus person differently. And I think I could have gone to the at least the Game 3 against Gruul, but I, I don't think, you know, it's... Pretty unlikely they were going to win a game three, but we could have at least gone to the game three against Gruul. Um, yeah, Thieva Sanity, I, th I feel like, would make a lot of sense in this deck. And, and honestly, Thieva Sanity would probably be better than Narset in general. Thieva Sanity is just so powerful. I could see Thief being better than Narset in the deck. Because Narset's not too difficult to play around, like the top part there. But, yeah. So that's Dreadhorde Control. All right, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, uh, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, that's it. For